Get out your notepads. It's time for takeaways. The first step in arm mechanics is assigning grip width. In the snatch, we assign grip width based upon where the bar makes contact in the body. We want the, we want the bar up in the fulcrum. Let's assign a quick power position. We're going to keep our head and spine at neutral. We're going to stay tight through the upper back. Relax the arms. These are just conduits for force. These are ropes. His weight is going to be organized over his ankle here. He's going to drop his knees, and he's going to hinge at the hip just slightly so that the shoulders cover the bar. We always want to be over the bar in the snatch. Totally counter to a deadlift. From here, all he's really got to do to produce extension is what? Stand up. Let's not make it complicated. Fuck this hip bump, pull up. All he's got to do is stand. This is the most natural concept that we can create. Keep it simple. Once we learn how to stand up from a power position, pull the elbows up. The elbows don't go back, they go up. The plane of the bar never breaks the plane of the body there. Once he finishes with his elbows up, he's going to simply externally rotate from the shoulder. Externally rotate from the shoulder, and once he finishes extension, he's punching. As we get into the full movement, his feet are going to make contact with the platform as he's executing his external rotation. And when his feet makes, make contact, that's when he's punching down into the hole. But if we don't have this part right, nothing else matters. How many times in the snatch do we see something like this laid out? That individual is farming for tension. They're trying to feel the barbell. Stay over the bar, elbows up, rotate, punch. Once we get those arm mechanics down, power position, stand up. Stand up, bring your elbows up. Stand up, bring your elbows up, rotate and punch. We go to a power position, and we're going to execute ballistically from there. If you see an athlete lined up like this in the power position, uh-uh, right? Adjust. This is a good opportunity to coach and to educate why being out of position is a flawed concept. How are we going to recruit the glutes if we're behind the bar here? It's never going to happen. We know, again, all four starts proximally moves distally. Your extension, the sequence starts here, right? This is a triple joint extension. That's, proper, that's bad mechanics, bad sequence. Movement prep at lighter weights is incredibly important. Guess what? Wes can't move 375 pounds as fast as he can move that barbell. As the weight goes on the bar, the speed drops precipitously. What's our counter? Your counter is your athlete speed. So the barbell should look like that. 50 kilos, 70, we're moving faster and faster to compensate for this, this del the delay in the speed on the bar. Power position, from here, Let's feel the length of this movement pattern. The snatch has one of the longest movement patterns in the weight room, right? We hinge at the hip. We're not going to change this knee angle. We're just going to hinge at the hip, and the shoulders are going to come well in advance of the bar, and he's going to feel his hamstrings. Everything should be loaded here. Hinge at the hip. Shoulders are terminally advanced of the bar here. Weights over the heels or back over the ankles. He extends by pulling his chest back. To a vertical position, but he keeps his shoulders on top of the bar. From there, he jump, jump and catch. Again, elbows up, rotate, and punch. The final phase of the movement, from the power position, we work down to the knee. Stay with me, kiddo. And we come to the floor. We bend our knees to mid-shin. The weight shifts forward to the middle of the foot. The quads are doing the work here. Shoulders and hips rise at the same rate, push through the quads and stop at the knee. Shoulders come over the bar, hamstrings are loaded, come back to a vertical posture, shoulders still cover the bar, jump and catch. That's pretty simple. 
You can create complexes. You can create variations out of those movements. As we get going, remove the pause at the power position. Then remove the pause at the knee. Then snatch from the floor. We're going to count championship twice. To either win it and be a top 25, we got to do things that other teams aren't doing. These coaches that just regurgitate one size fits all type information, it's absolutely wrong. Because without that, that character I've created, that John North character, the weights aren't going to go up. Coaching allows you to see the best and worst of people and be able to bring out things inside of them that they never thought were possible. Lead with your shoulders, not your hips. 